this video you are going to understand what is Kruskal Wallis test which is also famously called as a KW test in this uh, introductory video you are going to understand background to Kruskal Wallis test and assumptions attached with uh, Kruskal Wallis test and um, uh, important steps to solve problems in Kruskal Wallis test in my next lecture I will solve some of the problems uh, relating to Kruskal Wallis test so let us explore uh, what is uh, Kruskal Wallis test? Before that, we better to understand when to use Kruskal Wallis test. So, before that, let us understand when we have more than two groups or k number of groups to be compared. When we want to compare number of groups, we obviously use ANOVA. And when we want to compare with two groups, we can go, uh, go for T test. So for more than two groups, uh, ANOVA is uh, best utilized around the world. But since ANOVA is a uh, parametric statistics and requires some of the assumption and uh, assumption of normality is a key assumption in ANOVA. We cannot use it when our data is ordinal, uh, then we cannot use this ANOVA. And if our data does not fulfill the normality condition also, we cannot use it because it is a parametric test so then we have to go for our one more counterpart is called a non-parametric statistics so what is that non-parametric is that Kruskal Wallis test so Kruskal Wallis test compares the median very importantly we must understand median of several populations usually more than two population to see whether they are all same or not what is often we check in ANOVA, we just measure the mean difference between the population. Here also in case of Kruskal Wallis test, we see whether the median difference is same or not. So Kruskal Wallis test is a non-parametric analog to ANOVA, which means uh, the, it, which is a duplicate of ANOVA. So ANOVA analysis of variance we apply to parametric statistics. But uh, now here Kruskal Wallis test we apply for non-parametric type of data. So except some of the assumptions uh, both ANOVA and uh, Kruskal Wallis test both are same. So as I told you Kruskal Wallis test is uh, viewed as ANOVA based on the rank transformed data. So we have to transform our data in the, the ranked form. So which is ANOVA based on, based on rank transformed data. So which means before we check that ANOVA in the non-parametric that in the initial data are transformed to their associated ranks which means firstly we have to convert our data into our ranks then only we can go for Kruskal Wallis test. So in other words uh, it is completely like ANOVA as I told you it, which is a duplication of ANOVA except that uh, it is computed with medians not means. In case of ANOVA we compare the difference between two population means but here we compare the difference be, uh, difference between two population median. So we, uh, say why we are getting median is since we are dealing with the ordinal data in case of uh, Kruskal Wallis test, we have to test whether the mean difference exists or not. So in ANOVA, they consider up to uh, what uh, ratio type of data. So we can they can check the means differences between population. So which can be also viewed as a test of medians. Medians means ranked data. So we consider only ranked data in case of uh, non-parameter statistics so which is a test of medians so let us see what are the null and hypo null hypothesis in cases in case of a Kruskal Wallis test null and alternative hypothesis look like so null hypothesis is uh, population medians are equal so opposite to null hypothesis uh, population medians differ so very importantly we uh, we should keep in our mind that uh, we are uh, the population means are are equal we are not looking like that population medians are equal since as i told you we only consider ordinal data here so this is what uh, kruskal wallis test let us uh, explore some of the background to uh, that uh, kruskal wallis test uh, see the kruskal wallis uh, one way uh, no analysis of variance we call it as one way analysis of variance by rank but we should keep in keep in our mind that is by rank one way 
analysis of variance by ranks that is Kreskal uh, the, in the 1952 which is proposed uh, that Kreskal and Wallis proposed this so employees employed with ordinal which means rank order data in a hypothesis testing situation involving a design of two or more independent samples which is very simple which is proposed by Kreskal Wallis and which is a one-way analysis of variance we use this in uh, testing a hypothesis uh, situation involving uh, two or more independent sample. We may we must understand independent sample. We won't entertain dependent samples in case of Kreskal Wallis or non parameter statistics because here we only deal about ordinal data up to ordinal data. So we cannot consider dependent variables. So one more thing we should understand that uh, this test is an extension of the man whitney u test to design involving more than two independent samples why because even in the case of man whitney u test we consider only ordinal data and in the case of your uh, man whitney u test we only consider two independent samples so here in criscal wall is also when k is equal to two which means uh, number of groups are two the criscal wall is one way analysis of variance by ranks will yield a result that is equivalent to man whitney u test so in such a way which is similar to man whitney u test data so when your groups are more than two which is k is equal to three four five like that then we can consider this as a ANOVA by ranks so which means which is a mixture of man whitney u test and also ANOVA so before employing Kruskal Wallis test, we must understand, we must ensure that the data are in a rank order format, which is a very, very important uh, thing uh, we must undertake. Uh, since we only consider up to ordinal data, so our data must be in a ranked format only. And which is the only format in which the scores are available. So one more thing, if your data in uh, is in an interval or ratio format, the data have been transformed into rank order format. So totally data must be in a ordinal data, ordinal data only to employ uh, with the Kruskal Wallis test, KWO test. So now let us uh, explore assumptions of uh, Kruskal Wallis test, a uh, more or less assumption of uh, all non-parametric uh, test uh, testers repeat here also so even here also the sample has been randomly selected no non-random data non-randomly selected data is entertained here the k samples are independent of one another as i told you there is no dependent uh, uh, examples we cannot entertain in, in to this and variable under study is continuous which is also applicable in one in the case of man whitney u test and measurement scale is, is uh, at least ordinal so which is a only uh, only available format in case of uh, parametric uh, non parametric test and uh, in case of uh, kw kreskal wallis test also here one more thing we can uh, consider uh, compared to man whitney u test is that the underlying distribution uh, from which samples are derived are in identical in shape which means uh, population distribution shape that is the shapes of underlying population distribution however uh, do, uh, there is no uh, condition that it, uh, it does not have to be normal but it must be in identical in shape so these are the key assumption attached with the uh, Kreskal Wallis test to perform Kreskal Wallis test now let us explore what are the important steps we have to so follow while we are uh, solving Kreskal Wallis test firstly we have to rank all the numbers from smallest to largest like how we did in uh, Man Whitney U test here also we have to rank all the given observation from smallest to largest here you can get an example we have feed 1 2 3 and weight gain of feed 1 2 3 so here what is the uh, smallest value smallest value is 102 which will be given rank 1 and next smallest value 104 which will be given rank 2 next smallest value 106 which will be given rank 106 and so on and 
one more thing we should keep in your mind uh, that uh, the, the, the ranks you are giving which must be combined ranks we have to give so here we have three groups that is 3k uh, that is k1 k2 k3 the which means speed 1 feed 2 feed 3 so here we we should not consider only k1 that is feed 1 we should not consider only feed 2 for assigning rank here we have to give combined rank that is what I am telling. So here example 102 is first rank, 106 is second rank, 106 is third rank, 104 is second rank and now next value is 110, 110 is fourth rank whereas next 112 is fifth rank, 114 is sixth rank and this is seventh rank, this is eighth rank and here this is a ninth this one is tenth and so on so what is this which is a combined rank you must give rank like this uh, from smallest to largest so after giving rank we have to total ranks of uh, each sa samples after giving rank you have to name it as t1 here uh, feed 1 is t1 feed 2 is t2 and feed 3 is t3 uh, up to k now we have to take a total of each table which means feed 1 total feed 2 total and feed 3 total after taking a total next step in kruskal wallace test is calculate the kruskal wallace test statistics using a formula in the next slide i will show you what the formula we have to use while we are calculating kruskal wallace test statistics so after that we have to find p value which means a p value like a table value as we found in other test tests like man whitney u test and other such tests so after finding p value we have to finally you have to move to make a decision which is conclusion for your null hypothesis so here to make a decision very simple in case of kruskal wallace test so your tested statistics that is a uh, test statistics must be lesser than this p value then you will accept null hypothesis otherwise you will reject null hypothesis if your tested value is greater than the p value then you will reject your null hypothesis these are the important steps we need to follow while we are solving kruskal wallis test now let us see the formula we use for kruskal wallis test so I, as i told you this is a very simple formula we use for uh, finding uh, Pascal Wallis test statistics. So, which is H is equal to 12 in the denominator n within the bracket in plus 1, which is a common and uh, summation ri square, which means uh, for each table we have to consider here table uh, t1, t2, t3, like that. I showed you in the last uh, while we are explaining steps, I, to, I showed you tabulation for we have to rank the data first and we have to take a total of each sample that sample we have uh, we have to call as t1 t2 tk like that that t1 t2 tk we have to consider here that is i is number of case we have to consider here and in that to uh, square so t1 square t2 square t3 square like that and uh, in the denominator number of sample in each K we have to consider here and uh, here 3 3 is also common within the bracket n plus 1 so which is a very simple formula we have to uh, you know follow the while we are solving kruskal wallis test here n is so small n is number of cases in a given group which means uh, in a given sample how many numbers we have to consider there so here summation r square is sum of the rank squared for the given subject which is a very simple formula we have to consider here uh, that uh, t1 total value with uh, with the square and t2 total value with the square in the denominator respected samples for each each population so normally we use this formula but we have sometimes we have to use adjusted factor so adjusted factor why when we are uh, use means when two or more data are tied, then we have to use this that adjusted factor. Uh, for the adjusted factor, uh, one divided by within the square n cube minus n. 
and within the bracket uh, t1 uh, t1 means uh, number of uh, ties uh, example tie 1 tie 2 tie 3 and so on tie cube minus t so this is the adjusted factor we have to find after finding the adjusted factor we have to find adjusted crucial wall is test statistics the for uh, finding crucial wall is uh, adjusted crucial wall is uh, test statistics is this h is equal to h within the in the denominator c c is uh, this adjusted factor h is this using this formula we found the something that is h so when do we find adjusted factor we have to understand when we find like that so especially when the when the two or more data are similar example we have three case in uh, two case uh, we have similar problems a uh, similar data like two 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 is repeated even in another sample so in such cases we have to go for adjusted uh, factor so after finding adjusted factor we have to go for adjusted crucial wall is test statistics so this is a reference material for preparing this video thank you so much for watching please stay tuned for next videos on problems on crucial wall test